Yo, what's going on guys? We are playing Zeri in the top lane. Looks like... Oh my god, we are up against the Yumi. This is... Is this serious? Okay, I guess we're up against the Yumi. Oh. She, okay, she actually won that. Maybe she's not trolling. I'm gonna check her win rate. Okay, she actually has 11 games played, 73% win rate. Alright, we're gonna go um, Q first, we go W next. Alright, that can't go through minions. Oh, okay. Took lethal tempo for our runes. I right, got E next. So easy jump over terrain. Zarya has pretty short range. I'm actually getting outranged by the Yumi. So Zarya's autos can't go through the minions, which is why Yumi is just hiding behind there. Oh my god, I'm getting body blocked. I've got a pretty big wave building up. Level 4. Here with W. Um. Keep maxing out the Q. I think we'll go into shield bow. I think we'll sell our thing and get boots as well. I don't think we're going to need it against the Yumi top. This is going to be the most dead matchup. What? This will get back for all the minions. We should kill her a few times and then we'll look to roam. So Zeri's E can hop you over terrain like that. And also gives you piercing attacks. So she should be able to get this way. Push him with Q. So Q's treated as an attack, it's not an ability, so it doesn't cost any mana. Need to get this wave so it doesn't crash. Alright, so we've got it in a good position now. Gotta put a point in our W so we can actually hit Yumi over this wave. Oh no, the W doesn't go through waves, I just realized that, didn't I? Alright, we got a wave now. She's just running away, playing really safe. It's so annoying. I can't punish her through the minion wave. Wow, Zeri is so weak early. I was struggling to kill Yumi. I guess she was just perma healing. I'm gonna shove this now and reset. Yeah, Zeri's, you gotta play really passive on early. She's super weak. I can see your own bottom, so. So if you hit 
structures that W will turn into a laser. I don't know if it does any more damage. I don't think so. Alright, we'll just back off. So this ability is cast time slows down with attack speed. Okay. Active damage and slow. Okay, so Zeri's Q slows. It's going to be a big part of what we're going to try to do. I mean, with the new teleport update in Season 12, it's kind of annoying because I could TP bot or something, but... I'm stuck up against this Yumi. At least we got a kill. Once we kill her like once or twice, we're going to have enough damage once we get past pre-6. So yeah, R is basically like a damage and then gives you your stacks on your passive. We're going to snipe her with the W. Actually walking up the trade, so cocky. I'm gonna try and hold this off a tower. It's actually quite hard to get the stacks up on your passive with your Q on a long cooldown. You're basically never gonna have it when your points you. You got one or two points in your Q, but now we're getting three points in our Q, it's actually stacking up. I think it'd probably do more against champions. It's like Yumi's back. Yumi's went exhaust and ignite. She didn't even ignite me or exhaust me when we had that fight. Alright, now we're talking. We're getting a bit more attack speed. She's feeling quite nice now. I'm just going to keep on shoving this wave. It's like Yumi's roaming. That's fine. So the Q is actually, yeah, it's an aimed ability. It's not point and click either. So I'm wondering if your E does any more damage. We'll just keep on destroying this tower and then we'll roam. Tried against some actual champions rather than playing against a Yumi that just sits there. Good thing is I'm just spamming the Q, which is te like technically an ability, but it's counted as an attack, so it doesn't use any mana. So I'm pretty much just auto attacking like this. I mean, the auto attack's not too bad. It seems inconsistent, I wonder why that is. So if you hit people with shield, you actually gain that shield back. Here comes Yumi. Oh, I'm gonna back off here. Nice. Got the Yomi. We should be able to kill the Yumi. Even if she shields, we're going to grab that shield back as our own. Yeah, wow. She's... Looks like we're getting AoE passive on our attacks as well when we're overcharged. That's super good. Okay, Zeri's feeling quite nice now once you get some points into your abilities in Q. Grab the Herald. We already got first turret gold. We'll try and get some more plates and then we'll head back, get item, see how she feels. We're gonna be cool. feeling quite nice. Why can I not hit that? Oh, the actual attacks are so slow. Like, I can't even hit it before it turns. Like, I can, but it's just hard. I'm gonna dash. Oh. What? I just I don't think I can hit that. What is happening? I'm just gonna leave that. That's so annoying. Shaker can get it. That's just back. I think the auto attack was like too skinny or something. Like something was happening there. We're gonna go shield bow. I think it's your best item. Uh, the boots. Suggesting boots of swiftness. 
I wonder if that's good. We're just going to go Berserkers. I think that's just going to be better. And then next item, I think we're going to go... Uh, we already got Lifesteal, so we can go Storm Razor. Get some slows. We kind of want to avoid Teemo because he's probably going to be able to blind our Q. Looks like a Zeref is... Oh my god. We're gonna eat to this Q. We slowed the Yone. He shouldn't be able to get away from us. We just gotta... Try and stay out of his range. Uh, I feel like he's gonna all in us here. Got him. Zeri's super good to chase people like that. Her attack's slow, so it's pretty much a no-brainer. And I guess this is so good in team fights. It's like an AoE auto attack. It's kind of like having um, that hurricane item in built into your kit. Let's go see if the red buffs up. So I wonder if it can jump over thick walls like this. Wow, it can. Okay. This champion, you're going to have to play super safe with early game. She does absolutely no damage. But apart from that, like, she's super good once you get... We're only level 10 now. It's feeling quite decent. I don't think this guy kills me. Oh, my God. He actually did that. Didn't proc my life, but uh, shield bow, so I'm still chilling. Uh, see what's up, it's blue buff up. No. Grab this for the health. So it doesn't look like your attacks overcharge against jungle monsters, or at least not as much. I think they overcharge different against different... Depends what you're attacking. I wonder if this is warded. Oh. I'm going to try and get a bit close to her. Yeah, she'll both save us there. She's actually doing a, quite a bit of damage. And <laughs> she's only level 8. Uh, I think we stay on the map until... Oh, didn't want to do that. Stay on the map until we get shield bow. I think you're most... You're strongest when you have your thing charged. So we have charge attack now. That just did like 400 damage. I think your real stat is going to be runes, uh, move speed. We'll get the Yumi. Don't know. Oh, okay, yeah. So your Q scales with rune sp uh, move speed. Oh, that's a bit. Uh, I was going to flash and re-engage, but we were a bit low. Blue out R there. So yeah, the Q scales quite a bit with move speed. I guess that's why you can go Swifties. Yeah, right. So that's why most of the builds resolve, uh, re revolve around these move speeds. Uh, I mean, we'll actually go for the Zeal, knowing that. The Phantom Dancer. Can we get this if we sell? Not quite. We're a little bit off. So the E just the E dash works normally just like as a second dash, which is quite nice. Go bot. Looks like they're in a bit of trouble. We want to try and avoid the team. That's going to be a bad matchup for us. Very bad. It's high damage output, and you can blind our damage. Haven't even needed to use teleport yet. Oh my god. Use our ability. Oh. I don't know if we burned him there or we just finished him with a ability, but we were blinded. Yeah, this Q is feeling really nice now we've got Zeal. So the, you want move speed. I'd probably suggest getting tier 2 boots really early. 
I wasn't sure that it scaled with move speed that much, but it's feeling really good. We're moving up 401 now. Moving quite quickly. Kind of seems like low damage, I don't know. I'm probably not playing it optimal. It literally just came out today or yesterday. So I'm going to try and just auto attack him for a bit. Looks like we're getting a shield or scuttle. Maybe because that has armor on it. She doesn't have any CC in a kit that I'm aware of. I think DPS wise you're going to get... Yeah, her auto attacks kind of stink. I guess because I'm fighting a jungle monster. I'm not getting any overcharge on my autos. Keep mopping up farm. We got Zeref here. Oh, I walked back into that. Wow. Didn't know he was going to throw that behind me. 200 IQ, I guess. Still win this. I'm not sure where they went. Ah, uh, they're underneath the tower now. Yeah, you can't shoot through minions, which really sucks. Oh, we are dead, I think. Saved by the Shaco box. We're going to be really strong against shield bow users because we get that shield as well. Don't want to go through there. There's probably a team in room. Oh, okay, no, that's not. Oh, we're out of range. Nice. Hit the Yumi. There's going to be another one in there, maybe. We can probably jump over this wall. Might not be worth. Hit the Yumi. Yeah, I'm keen to see what Zeri feels like at like level 18. Try and force this in. Oh, we don't want that. Oh, did we not get that? Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. We're just going to flash get out of there. That was getting very bad for us. I thought someone would have taken that Caitlyn R, but... No. Uh, I don't even think we can take the Grom. I, I feel like our attacks are nerfed against monsters. And that's GG, guys. They forfeited. Went 702. Um, thought that was pretty good. Let me know what you thought in the comments of the new champion, Zeri. Um, my name's Jellybird, and I'll catch you next time.